Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? Too much noise. That is going to be today's story. It's been written by Rohini Nilakeni. And the wonderful illustrations have been done by Angie and Upesh. It has been published by Pratham Books. One day, Sringeri Srinivas, the farmer, set out with his best cows to the cattle fair. He had to walk along the new national highway that had come up near his village. This is Sringeri Srinivas, a farmer. So what is he doing today? He got his best cows. And he wants to take them to the cattle fair. Do you know what a cattle fair is? A fair is a like a marketplace, like a market where people buy or sell things. But this is a cattle fair, meaning a place where they buy and sell cattle. So Shingeri Srinivas, the farmer, is taking his cattle to sell them. Cattle means animals like cows, goat, sheep, all those things are called cattle. The path is through a national highway. Highway is a large road which connects cities or cities with villages. It's a large road. So he is walking along a new national highway that goes near his village. That big road had many cars and trucks. Every driver seemed to be honking loudly. Pow, pow, pow. The cows did not like the noise. They decided to go back home. I told, right, highway is a large road. It's a big road. So there are many cars and trucks going on it. And all of them seem to be in a hurry and they are honking. Honking is loudly making noise, harsh noise. They have their horns, right? In their truck, they're pressing it continuously. Pam, 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 so much noise. The cows did not like it at all. They don't want to go on the road. They want to go back home. He waved his hands at the drivers to stop the noise. This did not help. Seeing him, they just honked louder. The noise of the honks went straight into his head and it stayed there. It was a bad day for him. He went back home with his cows. Mm. The cows were happy to be in the cow shed again. So what did he do? He wants to go to the cattle fair. The, the cows don't seem to like the noise and they want to run back home. He uh, thinks that if he waves his hand at those trucks and cars, they will probably stop honking, making those harsh noises with their horns. He thinks that they will do. Instead, what happens when he does that, asks them to stop, they are honking even louder now. And this loud honking gets into his head. And it is stay there. He doesn't like it either. Shingeri Srinivas also doesn't like it. So he decides to get his cows back home. And the cows now are happy that they are away from all the traffic and that loud noise. But the noise simply would not go away from his head. Paw, paw, paw. It kept on playing like a band of untrained musicians. 
other noises around him soon joined in the chorus. Even the sounds that he heard daily suddenly became too loud for Shingeri Srinivas. So after that, that noise, the loud, harsh noise kept on ringing in his head. It was there in his head. It's like untrained musicians. There is, a, there is a person and he's not trained to play an instrument. How bad will it be? So bad to hear, right? Like that, the sound keeps playing on in his head. He's not able to let it go. And it just became worse. What happened? All the other sounds that he would hear on a daily basis. It could be the cows uh, moving or the birds chirping. Even those seemed like very loud for him. So here there is a word, chorus. Chorus means uh, orchestrated or trained musician come together and join to play music. So here it is meant such that it is not just the sound of the trucks and uh, cars. The other sounds are also joining on the band, making it very hard for him. The ribbit, ribbit of the frogs was noisy. The cicadas and the krrk, krrk were too loud. Shingeri Srinivas wanted the hooting owls to be sent away. He was angry at the coils for screeching loudly at 4 a.m. All sounds are annoying for Shringer Srinivas. Ribbit, ribbit. The frogs make this noise, right? That noise is like too loud for him. And the cicadas, cicadas, these insects that you would uh, hear in the night. Like that you can hear them. Those seem they are like too loud. The owls are hooting. The sound of an owl is called hoot. That also seems like too loud. He doesn't want any noise. The coils are screeching. It's not screeching, but it seems like screeching for him. Screeching means loudly crying. So that is called screeching. Everything seems like a loud noise and a nuisance for Shringeri Srinivas. And at the cows that moved at 5 a.m., and whoever asked the roosters to act as alarm clocks and that stupid tiger, enough of his roaring. The cows are moving. The sound the cows make is moo. Moo. Like that they make, right? That sound. That is annoying for him. He is wondering why are these roosters getting up early in the morning like alarm clocks and making coo -coo -coo -coo. the sound of noise the roosters make. Why are they making such a noise now? And then he says he started cursing the tiger also saying enough stop roaring. Poor Shringeri Srinivas. His ears had become raw like a fresh wound. He tried hard to keep things quiet. He shouted at the children if they talked loudly. He glared at his wife, Parvatamma, when the pressure cooker whistled and whistled. So every noise now seems like a a very loud noise and it is a big nuisance for Shringeri Srinivas. And he starts controlling his kids and wife. If the kids start talking loudly, he starts shouting at them. If the cooker makes the whistle, shh, noise it makes, right? That if it makes a few times, he starts glaring, staring at his wife. So he cannot now tolerate any noise. Shringeri Srinivas only wanted silence. 
everyone tried to help parvatamma stopped scolding the children the children played cricket quietly with a very soft ball now all shringeri shrinivas wants is silence complete silence so poor thing his family members are also helping him how parvatamma now doesn't scold her children at all and the kids are playing cricket very softly with a soft ball not the regular ball which will make tok sound no sound when the bat hits the ball so everybody tries to help shringeri shrinivas in maintaining silence but let us see if that is helping him though the cows did not move anymore the cicadas and owls moved to another village even the tiger stopped growling not just the family members everything around is stopping to make sound to help poor shringeri shrinivas the cows are stopping their moose and the cicadas and owls are also keeping quiet and the tiger has now stopped growling yet shringeri shrinivas was not happy he could hear the noise of everyone trying to be silent this was also bothering him he was not happy he could hear the noise of everybody be silent and that was irritating him as well i will go away from this place he declared one morning please don't said parvatamma where will you find silence shringeri shrinivas simply frowned at her and started to walk away from his village with all this he decided i'm going to go out of this place let me go away poor parvatamma says please don't go away and where will you find such a silence that you are looking for but shrinivas did not listen to it and he started walking away from his village frowned means making a a facial gesture or on your face show disapproval it's called frowning soon he came close to a new town he watched the noisy people in the noisy town a young man passed by he had some wires dangling from his ears shringeri shrinivas could also hear a ting dang ting dang sound the man looked very happy he did not even notice that trucks were blaring horns nearby so as he was walking away from his village and going to a new town as usual the town was noisy with noisy people and in general the town was noisy with the cars and everything but then there was this young guy walking who was very happy in spite of all the noise he was very happy and shringeri shrinivas noticed that he was having something on his ears and there were wires hanging from it and there was some sound coming from that as well and it seemed that the guy was not bothered by the blaring horns or any of those loud really loud noises that were going on around him so it got shringeri shrinivas thinking what is this he asked the man these are my headphones here try them on the young man said he put them on for shringeri shrinivas music ting dang ting dang no horns aha this is just what i need he said 
Shringeri Shrinivas went and asked the guide, So what is this that you are wearing? The young man said, Oh, these are my headphones. Here, do you want to try them and see? And so when Shringeri Shrinivas put the headphones on him, he could hear wonderful music and not the blaring horns. Now he has decided, ah, this is what I need. Shringeri Srinivas went into the town. He bought a pair of the best headphones and put them on. At last, no more noise. He returned to his village with his big new headphones. Now Shringeri Srinivas went to the town, a shop there and got the best headphones that he could get and put it on his ears. He realized after that he could hear no noise and he was really happy and he decided to come back to his home. His wife was happy to see him. Shringeri Srinivas gave her a big smile. His children helped him to connect the new headphones to some good, happy music. So his wife was very happy to see and so was Shringeri Srinivas and his kids helped him to connect good music, really good, happy music to his new headphones so that he can hear it through them and be very happy. Now, when Shringeri Srinivas gets very angry at the cars or even at the frogs, he puts on his headphones and listens to the silence or he listens to good music. In the village, the cows are moving again. The coils have come back. Ribbit, ribbit, go the frogs. Krrk, krrk, sing the cicadas. Now that he has got his new headphones, he puts them on whenever he gets angry at loud noises from cars or frogs or any other noise. He just puts on his headphones. Sometimes just silent with no music on and sometimes with really good music. Now the rest of the world around him is also happily making noise. The cows are moving again. The cicadas and the coils are happily making their sounds. So everybody is back to their original state. But the cars on the highway are still making too much noise. Pow, pow, pow. It is not a good sound. Shringeri Srinivas has to take his cows to the fair soon. Will they want headphones too? Now that the rest of his village is back to normal, those things are, on, are not major noise, right? Like the cars blaring their horns. The highway is still very, very noisy, making large, really harsh, irritating noises. But now again, he has to take his cows to the fair. So will the cows now wear headphones? Looks like it because he has fixed headphones on the cows as well. Let us look at the difficult words that we found in today's story. Cattle. Cattle is a group of animals usually kept for their milk or meat like cows, buffalo, goat, sheep, etc. Fair. Fair is a marketplace or a public event where things are bought and sold. Highway. A main road, especially one connecting major towns or cities. Honk, the loud noise of 
car horns. Chorus. Chorus means a large organized group of singers. Screeching. Screeching means loud, harsh, piercing noise. Blaring. Blaring is also loud, harsh noise. Hooting. The noise made by owls is called hooting. Cicadas. A large insect with transparent wings which makes shrill noise. The picture you see on the screen is that of a cicada. Frown. An expression indicating disapproval or displeasure is called frown. Try these questions. This story talks about noise pollution. Noise pollution is caused because of loud noises around us which can affect our health and the health of other living organisms as well. What sources of noise pollution do you face near your school or house? The next question. Distance is measured in meters or kilometers. Weight is measured in grams or kilograms. These standards for measuring quantities is called units. What is the unit of sound or noise? I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until the next one, it's bye from Saumya.